Next, we'd like to show you this. Oh my gosh! Dude, I'm about to pee out my butt. What the heck is that? I love this map! What's this? What? Oh my gosh! What? Holy crap! I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been just dark, 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 dark into that. Mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid. Oh my gosh! What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. <laughs> Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced Museum sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into I'm the city, so happy. creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed what? in the footage. What the heck? In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from story mode, the single player campaign. Return of the mammalians. Meaning the reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme of story mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world oh my where all gosh. mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Please look forward to more. Splatoon 3. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a heart attack! <laughs> Updates to come. See you next time. Oh my gosh! So, what did you think? Splatoon 3 taking place in a new world is scheduled to release in 2022. 